In this video, we'll be looking at perimeter and area ratios. Now, if you recall, a ratio is a fraction of one side of something over the other side of something, and that's all we need for a ratio. So, if you look at this rectangle, the perimeter would be 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2, so 14. Perimeter here will be 15 plus 6 plus 15 plus 6, so 42. The area will be 5 times 2 is 10, 15 times 6 is 90. So, let's figure out what my side ratio is. I'm going to call it side ratio instead. In other words, the ratio from this side, from this rectangle to this rectangle. Well, just compare the sides, so 2 over 6. Which 2 goes into both of those reduces it down to 1 over 3. So my side ratio is 1 over 3 from this uh, rectangle to that rectangle. The perimeter ratio is 14 over 42, which 14 goes into both of those, so it reduces it down to, oh, look at that, 1 over 3 again. So what do you notice about the side ratio and the ratio of their perimeters? Well, they are the same. Now let's find the ratio of the area. So 10 over 90, which when you reduce that equals 1 over 9. So is their area ratio the same? No. So we got to figure out what do we do to calculate that area ratio. So notice here, the ratio of the sides is just going to be A over B, so one side over the other side. And the ratio of the perimeters will still be the same as well, a over b. But to find the ratio of the areas, I do a squared over b squared. I square the ratio, these ratios to get the area ratio. Let's look at an example to make that help make that help make sense with that. So the ratio of the sides is 4 over 7. The ratio of the perimeter is also going to be 4 over 7 because they're the same. But the area ratio will be 4 squared over 7 squared. I square everything because area is two-dimensional. So 16 over 49 is my ratio of the areas. So looking here, it tells me the area is 100 and the area is 169. So I start by saying that the area ratio is 100 over 169. Now, to go from your side ratio to your area ratio, you had to square them. So how do you think you go backwards now? You have to take the square root. So the square root of 100 is 10, and the square root of 169 is 13. So 10 over 13. So to go from side or perimeter ratio to area ratio, you square. To go from area ratio back to side or perimeter ratio, you take the square root of both numbers. All right, so let's apply that to something. Let's write some proportions using ratios. So given two similar rectangles, find the perimeter of the first rectangle. So can we first off use the two sides to find the side ratio? Sure, so 12 over 15, which that reduces because 3 goes in the top and bottom, 4 over 5. So this is your side slash perimeter ratio. So I'm given a perimeter inside, so the ratio I need is the perimeter ratio, which I have. So 4 over 5 equals, let's see here, 12 is a smaller number, so x will go next to the smaller number over the perimeter that we do know. Cross multiply, so you get 460 equals 5x. And divide by 5, so x equals 90. Uh, let's see, 92. 92 inches will be the perimeter. So the key here is to determine which ratio you're being given. That is the side ratio. Reduce it, which we did. Now determine what are you looking for. Well, perimeter. So you already have the ratio you need. Set up a proportion and solve. Given two similar octagons, find the area, so that's a keyword, of the larger octagon. First off, we can use these two sides to find a side ratio. 15 over 9, which 3 goes into both of those, so it reduces to 5 over 3. So that's your side slash perimeter ratio. Now you're being given the area. So I don't need the side perimeter ratio to find the area. I need the area ratio. 
which is going to equal 5 squared over 3 squared, which is 25 over 9. So 25 over 9 equals, let's see, bigger areas, x over 45. Cross multiply, 11, 25, or is it? Yeah, 11, 25 equals 9x. Divide by 9, so x equals 125 inches squared. So the key here is you know that you got a ratio, but you need the area ratio because you're being given area. All right, make sure you practice your homework and have a great night.